guys. So what have I been up to over the month of January, even though we're halfway through February? Well, I'm going to show you what I've been up to over January. Okay, first of all, I have been painting quite a few zombies. So these are all the vintage Citadel stuff. So I've got four zombies here. These are all figures that I've stripped since Christmas and repainting them again. Some of them were horrendously painted from over 20, 25 years ago. So I've got the four zombies there and Loving Me Undead, Loving Me Zombies. I've got an excellent figure here, excellent skeleton. Again, these are all, all January works. So I've got a classic ghost there. Again, all Citadel. And just slide those over. It's got quite a few to squeeze in. So I've got another four. Again, all Citadel stuff on the go. The four zombies. These have all been base primed with the necrotic flesh spray. We'll just slide them over. And we've got a classic orc there, probably from the late 80s, early 90s. Again, he's half done, he's, he's not quite there yet. And I've got some other figures that aren't Citadel. I've got a nice mummy. These are all Grenadier figures. I think the mummies are Grenadier. I know that these two are, the white and the other zombie. So these guys are from 1984. And it's so nice to see them stripped and repainted in a much more decent way this time. So I made the base for him out of Milliput. Uh, you always used to use Milliput, love it. Sticks like shit to a blanket. And what else have we got? We have, well I've had a bit, oh no, we've got a, we've got a ghoul here. Uh, and I always remember this fellow, I think this is a Grenadier figure. And I bought him in the Army and Navy store in Lewisham. And I always remember they used to have a walkway that went over the high street to get to it. And he came in a packet of three and I, God knows what happened to the other two. I've looked for them high and low, but they, I just cannot find them anywhere. So there's a ghoul, and I've had a blowout on eBay, because I'm loving my undead. I'm a sucker for the zombies. Uh, so what have we got? We've got, these are all things that I've had this week. So we've got another classic skeleton there. Another classic skeleton there. Excellent figure, that one. Uh, another one here. And this guy here. That, that's going to paint nicely, that one. Cracking figure. And just come through today, I've had two ghouls, this guy here, and another one here, with gigantic meat cleavers in their hands. Got a classic orc there, some of you may recognise these figures. Again, those were eBay purchases. And what else? So this is what I've been doing in between my Hail Caesar as well, so obviously painting some of the older nostalgic stuff. Just slide all this out of the way slightly without damaging them. Uh, I think it was Stig of the Dump. You were asking me about basing my Hail Caesars because I've been doing them all on individual bases. And you commented about putting them in trays. And yes, I have the trays. So I've got these a couple of days ago. Again, another eBay purchase. Excellent trays because uh, I'm basing them on the circular 25mm ones. So they fit perfectly. I've already started on one but I won't show it until it's all finished, it's coming along nicely so that'll be another little vid and today I went up to London and I went to a shop called 4D Model Shop and I was looking on their website and I bought lots of bags of fantastic stones I've got about four or five bags so they shall see me for some good bases there's another troll over here, quite a large figure that one again vintage citadel stuff and I've got another tray here of things all stripped down <laughs> ready to go in time of course in between the Hail Caesar and all the other multitude of uh, Hail Caesar figures that I have and what else I I went to Orcs Nest today bought uh, some more Army Painter Primer uh, Goblin Green and that's about it really so yeah until the next vid I will show some decent images in a minute of uh, all the painted guys uh, rotating for your pleasure and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Comments, uh, again, would be fantastic. And see you on the next vid.